Hi, it's Mike, and I want to talk to you today about how to syndicate your blog post. Because once you are done doing your blog post and, and get published, you're not done yet because you still have to get the word out. You have to market your blog post. Because if you don't, Google will help pick it up. But you still really need to accelerate that process and start using social media. Okay? So one of the tools you, you can do this manually, and I did that before with posting it manually on Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. But really. Manually is only good so far. You really want to start automating it, especially when you get serious at this, because if you just do it manually all the time, you're going to waste a lot of valuable time. You could spend working on other things of your business and start accelerating a little faster, right? So the tool that got brought to my attention was OnlyWire. And ever since I started using OnlyWire, things started taking up. Now, to really show you, I want to show you the proof of that. I'm going to show you, this is kind of our analytics that we've done since our site uh, took off here. Uh, initially, this, this is... We started off here as Flatline. Okay, our blog started in the beginning of uh, 2014. Okay, and it wasn't until uh, around April when we started using OnlyWire. Okay, so we're using OnlyWire, their traffic started picking up. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Now later on down the road, I started learning a little more about SEO and our traffic picked up further. But if you're looking for that initial traffic surge, okay, using a tool like OnlyWire really starts picking up. Okay, and which is really really cool. So let's get this out of the way. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to show you kind of the features of OnlyWire because I'm really, really impressed with this. And this is not a tool that I ever want to dismiss out of my, my arsenal. So basically what it shows here, every time we do a blog post, okay, you know, it does accuse it in here. Now we have 50, up to, you have up to 50 uh, sites set up. So you can actually automatically post on 50 social sites. Uh, or, or social bookmarking sites, okay? And what this really does, it sends out a, like an image, maybe a little bit of text, and a link back to your original blog. So it doesn't actually post a blog there, it sends links, okay? Social bookmarks, social bookmarks. So uh, what I want to show you here is it actually doesn't do it all at once, it actually queues them, okay? So what it does, it kind of schedules them out so you don't have, it kind of looks more natural. Instead of having them hit all at once, it has them hit at, at kind of in an in interval, okay? Kind of like waves. So as you can see here, you can monitor it. You can set different monitor things we don't have set up here. Analytics, pretty cool. Okay, you can monitor different results, like bitly results, and so on. So that's this one tap here that I want to show. Okay, even Twitter results, pretty cool. You can go by by uh, demographics, by region. Really, really cool stuff. But really comes down to is you have to set up your networks. Okay, so you can set up to fifty. 50 different um, sites. Okay, you have Facebook, Google Plus, Pinterest, you name it, the whole gamut here, right? And you can have multiple of the same ones. For instance, I have, so for instance, I have several WordPress.com ones that use social bookmarking. So I have three of them set up there. Okay? So that's pretty easy, pretty easy to cool to do. And then what we do is uh, have everything set up, and then what it does is post these different sites. You set all the, you get your passwords, you get everything set up pretty. But, uh, one of the things I would like to warn you against, I'm sure you can do Facebook, but we have a setup going to our Facebook fan page or business page, as they're called now. We don't send the Facebook groups. I learned this the hard way. I started doing the Facebook groups. I got sent to Facebook jail. Okay, So we have a different tool we recommend for that and watch for a future video for that. But for now, I recommend do not use OnlyWire to post to Facebook groups. Otherwise, you're going to get a timeout for a while from Facebook. So, uh, so get all the accounts set up. Pretty easy to do. It takes a little bit of time. Okay, I must admit, it takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it because once you have them set up, you're set up. Okay. Now let's go to the automation side of things. This is really cool too because what you do is you can actually set it up. So you just send the RSS feed into here. You get a certain number of RSS feeds depending on which level you're in, and it automatically reads the RSS feed and then distributes the, the post from there. So there's no thought, you don't have to worry about plugging into, into OnlyWire, and automatically takes care of that for you, okay? Now, if you have additional ones beyond the RSS feeds that you've allowed, you can still actually take the uh, uh, the actual files, like with the, um, the links, the URLs, and post it in here manually, and send them up that way as well, because uh, I only have here the capability of three RSS feeds, and so we use YouTube for YouTube videos as well, okay? So we usually use it for YouTube, plug it in here manually, and send it out that way, okay? So um, the next one here is Enterprise. It's just basically so you can upgrade to the next level. I'm not at you know, enter Enterprise level yet. Um, that's probably more for the larger um, platforms, a lot more blogs than we have, and then we want to syndicate, and then you have to support. 
Okay, so that is basically it. You can see it's a really cool tool. Automation is where it's at. Okay, because if you're being really serious, you don't want to waste time doing the tedious tasks where you can spend just a little bit of money, it's not that expensive, and have it automated for you so you don't have to worry about it. Right? And that way, the thing is, too, you don't have to worry about it. You hit the submit button or the publish button on your blog, and only wire takes care of the rest after that. Okay? Can't get any easier than that. Okay? So that's it for this video. Thank you very much, and stay tuned and look for the next video. Oh, by the way, we actually have a blog post, so if you're not on the blog post watching this video, click the link below. It'll take you to the blog post, and we'll actually have some more information there as well for you. Okay, thanks. Bye.